Hi, this is Janice Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography and today we're going to talk about Adobe Camera Raw snapshots. But before we get started, I always like to show you my website. Go to SullivanJPhotography.com and this is where you can get a hold of me. And also I'd like to share with you my store location. This is the ebook and video package area advertised on my blog and our affiliates tab. I really would love the support if you're going to purchase any kind of equipment or do anything when it pertains to photography. I can make a little bit of commission and it helps support these free video tutorials that I do for everyone. So let's get on to snapshots. Okay so starting with snapshots I want to show you this image this is a photograph of my daughter and my first grandson. It's very precious to me. I just love this moment. And I made a couple snapshots of this photograph. So let's get to the snapshot location, which is right here. And these are the two snapshots that I did of the image. So what is a snapshot? Basically, you make a snapshot only for this image. So the steps that you've done in Adobe Camera Raw will be saved just for this image via the snapshot. So I went ahead and made a black and white for this image and I did a low vibrance. Again, it's only for this image. So let's go ahead and show you how to make one and I'll get to my iPhone photograph of this flower, this ice plant flower, and as you can see over here, it's antique six. It, you, the other image had black and white and low vibrance. So again, it's only information that you have done pertaining to the particular image. The preset is for all images. You can use presets for all images. But what I do suggest is if you do use a preset, like look at all these presets, I forget sometimes which preset that I really like if I use a preset. So I actually make a snapshot of the preset that I like for the image. So here's the Antique 6 that was in the presets and I like this so I'm gonna save it as a snapshot. But say I want to change it up, so I'll go ahead and play with this, change up my vignette a little bit. We're going to do this quickly just because of video purposes. And, you know, say I want to change the midpoint and I just want this area to pop, I'll play with this later, but I like it. I'll go ahead and go to the snapshot location and down here at the bottom, I'll click on that and over here I'll name it. So I'll just name it maybe an antique six with a vignette. And then here it is to the right. If I want to go and start all over again, all you have to do is click here, go to image settings, and it takes you back to the original image. So if you want to do something different, you can. But again, snapshot is a perfect way to keep the information just for this image. If you don't like it, the snapshot or you say you have too many, you're just like, oh, I, I'll never use this. Right here at the bottom is a quick little trash can. All you have to do is just click on the snapshot and just dump it in the trash and boom, it's gone um, from your snapshots. Uh, it, the image, as you can see, hasn't changed. So let's get to the next video because my dog's barking. I'm going to show you my website. <laughs> so you could learn more about snapshots in Adobe Camera Raw. Okay, so we're back here at my website, but before I show you how to get to my video tutorials, I want to reiterate real quick what a snapshot is. In Adobe Camera Raw, you can save all of the steps that you have done to that particular image by creating a non-destructive snapshot. If you want to learn more information on Adobe Camera Raw, if you go to the website, at the bottom I have this location that you can register for my newsletter, my ebook and video combo, and learn photography. Click on the YouTube area and that will take you to my channel. I would love for you to subscribe. This is my way to talk shop to everybody that enjoys photography. Have a great day and definitely play with those snapshots. Cheers! Mm -hmm.